Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, Costa Chal here, Doncaster Ball Bots built for theme parks, and welcome to a huge theme park news update, where today I'm going to be going a little bit more in detail on a specific ride closure, because after nearly a decade of operation at Cedar Point, Wicked Twister will be biting the dust at the park on September 6th, 2021 that is the last launch of this roller coaster i'm going to talk to you guys about this article from a specific news site and share my thoughts and predictions on future replacements and the surrounding area so before we get started guys make sure you like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you can never miss another youtube video also guys check the description down below for social media links the google forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel and the article link which will be there as well and for now guys let's go down to cedar point and check out the closure of wicked twister so this article comes from M Live, and Cedar Point plans to shutter Wicked Twister, the spiraling twisting roller coaster that occupies a prime piece of park real estate overlooking the beach. Cedar Point Director of Communications Tony Clark on Friday announced the closure of the coaster, which will thrill its last riders on Monday, September 6th. Clark declined to say what would take its place, referring only to future park improvements. The coaster had fallen out of favour in recent years, attracting increasingly shorter lines of riders. It's one of 18 roller coasters at Cedar Point. Only Six Bags Magic Mountain near Los Angeles has more, with 19. The closure of Wicked Twister opens up a prime spot of land towards the front of the park, adjacent to the Lake Erie Beach. Cedar Point in 2018 tore down the nearby Extreme Sports Stadium, formerly the Cedar Point Aquatic Stadium, which leaves a large swathe of development land along the park's northern border, near the Giant Wheel. Online speculation for what might replace it the range from a new coaster to a log ride to a stage for shows. Clark said the details about the coaster's last day of operation would be shared soon. Now for all you coaster geeks out there, here is the official stats on uh, Wicked Twister according to Relicoast Database, aka rcdb.com. Wicked Twister is a twist and twist 66 metre model impulse coaster by Intamin Amusement Rides. Having a height of 215 feet with a drop of 206 feet with a speed of 72 miles per hour and 90 degree vertical angle with a multi-pass LIM launch and two twisted vertical rollbacks. The trains are arranged with a single train of eight cars. Riders arranged two across in two rows for a total of 32 riders at a cost of US dollars 9 million and a capacity of 1,000 riders per hour. The first opening on the 5th of May 2002, with closing on September 6th, 2021, after nearly a decade of operation. So let's now talk about the future of this site. Now, as you can see on your screen right now, I've got one of three variations of what could be happening with the nearby site. Now, this one takes up the Tiki Twirl, the Troika, the old Aquatic Stadium, which is of course the old sports arena, and Wicked Twister. And it sort of goes near towards Windseeker, but it doesn't take up the Windseeker plot of land or the giant wheel because this potential development and this potential uh, site reconfiguration only includes the rides included in the box so the giant wheel won't be included and as part of this particular reconfiguration of the site the giant wheel would have to be repainted and rethemed of course so what could be going in this plot of land if this is the kind of area they're using to take up now if it's just this particular area i could see a couple of different possibilities one possibility could be a multi-launch shuttle coaster by Gerslaura or Gerslaua. Now, obviously, we know the Mystery Gerslaua project is going to Glenwood Caverns with Defiance. Uh, now, why do I think Gerslaua, though? Well, I think Gerslaua could still be a wonderful manufacturer for Cedar Point. And I think it's a manufacturer I think is a long time needed. Now, in terms of what I'm thinking ride-wise, in terms of comparisons, you know, like, you know the NBA draft when they used to like compare the draft prospects when they're drafted to like current players into sort of you know similar players. We're sort of comparing rides here. So for a multi-launch shuttle coaster by Guslawa or Guslora, what do I think is similar to in terms of what I'm thinking with this? I think something like Fury at Bobby on Land could be great for this site. 
It's a multi-launch. It's, it's perfect for the confined space of the park. It replaces the launch that Wicked Twister had. And I think it would be a wonderful investment either way. Now, something a little bit further down on the thrill level, but still something quite thrilling, and something that will replace Wicked Twister as an inverted coaster, is the Vacoma Suspender Thrill Coaster. Now, I wanted to see Vacoma work with Cedar Point and Cedar Fair Company for a long, 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 long while now. And I personally feel like this could be the real opportunity. And I think the STC is a great fit because it replaces the inverted coaster void left by the exit of Wicked Twister. Obviously, we still have Raptor, which is the B&M invert, uh, but the Wicked Twister is a two across invert. So I'm guessing that it'd be, it, it, it would be nice to, to see another two across invert replaced there. And especially with the STC, you know, throwing a couple of inversions, this is like a perfect sort of, I wouldn't say family thrill, but it's like the right level of thrill before you get to the extreme thrill level. So it's like the right level of thrill. It's sort of in between family thrill and extreme thrill and a mixture of both. So I think it would work very, very well for Cedar Point's favour if they work with Vacoma with the STC. Especially Vacoma itself. Vacoma is a wonderful manufacturer to work with. The third possibility for this particular site is again a concept that's very, very compact. And they could do something quite spectacular here. And that is of course... Uh, some kind of compact launch coaster by Intamin or SNS. Now, of course, we see Max Force at Six Flags Great America. We know how much success that could be in the future and how successful it is now. Now, I think something similar to that could be very, very good. Or Intamin could even do a concept version of that. And they have done the LSM concepts, the newer LSM concepts, in the last 12 months and released them in the last 12 months. So I do think that Intamin could be involved in this instead of SNS. But we'll see what happens. This next plot of land just focuses on the stadium, Wicked Twister and the Troika ride and exits the Tiki Twirl, the Windseeker and the Giant Wheel. The Tiki Twirl will probably have to be relocated and the Windseeker, again like the first site and probably the third site as well, would be safe by this. So what could go in this particular plot of land? Now this is a slightly smaller plot of land so I would think really carefully with this and I've had to think really carefully with this. But I would like to see if they're going to go for some kind of family thrill coaster. Maybe a family dueling boomerang by Vekoma. That could be a wonderful fit. And I think a family dueling boomerang would give you some nice dueling elements. Especially if you're sort of dueling on the beach. And I don't think it would mind if Cedar Point got a family coaster. Or some kind of family thrill coaster. Because, you know, look at the last few coasters they got. Valor Raven, Steel Vengeance. Very much extreme thrill coasters. So I think that a family thrill coaster would be a great fit for that beach side. Especially when you've got the, the, the extreme thrill coaster gatekeeper right near it. And the thrill ride wind seeker the other side. So I think that a family boomerang, especially a dueling one to make it a bit more unique uh, to the states uh, would be a great fit another potential po possibility here could be some kind of sns launch coaster but something a lot more compact uh, so they could use the surrounding area do a bit of a nice overhead looker from off the ride uh, but for something very compact we're not looking at a max force here we're probably looking at something like um, kind of like what Premier Rides do with the Sky uh, Sky Rockets and Marathon with the Sky Loops, maybe SNS version, but a little bit more extreme. So I think something quite compact would work very well here. Of course, Gerstler could go down the hang time route and invest in some kind of hang time type coaster for that beach area, for that boardwalk style area, and sort of revamp that whole area of the park. So I think again that could be a, a really nice possibility to see some kind of hang time infinity coaster with a beyond vertical drop, and it could do really well because of course. You know, it isn't out of the realms of possibility to have a park which has a, a, a dive coaster and a beyond vertical drop coaster. But uh, I think it's just one to sort of throw in there as a possible bonus uh, for this particular plot of land. Finally, plot of land number three, and this includes uh, Wicked Twister, the stadium, the Troika. It excludes Tiki World, which again, that will be relocated as part of the development. The giant wheel stays again. But then you include this. Now, this plot of land at the side includes three attractions. The Dodgems, Max Air, and the Kitty Kingdom area. Now, the Kitty Kingdom area, in my opinion, is irrelevant now that they have uh, Planet Snoopy. The Dodgems is a classic attraction. You know, it's not a high-capacity ride. It's not a highly popular ride for thrill-seekers. It won't exactly be missed, you know, compared to other rides. And Max Air. Now, we've heard reports about Max Air that it hasn't been operating this season. 
could Max Air be going as part of the development and then maybe somewhere down the line in the future see the point invest in a new Frisbee ride elsewhere in the park uh, to make up for the loss of Max Air. And I think that would be a very smart thing to do in my opinion. Invest in like a gyro swing by Intamin or uh, a Zampella Giant Discovery elsewhere in the theme park to uh, make up for the departure of Max Air. But use the Kiddie Kingdom, the Dodgems and the Max Air area involved in the Troika, the Stadium and Wicked Twister and not even just including the Tiki Will plot of land if Tiki Will is relocated or removed as well. What could go down this particular re reconfiguration of the land? There's a couple of different possibilities here, one of which is a Gerslauer. Again, people are talking about, even though there's the Mystery Gerslauer project with Glenwood Caverns and Defiance for next year, you know, there's still talk of maybe the 15 and version roller coaster from Gerslauer uh, being the mystery project. It would be interesting to see a 15 and version roller coaster, however, I really don't think that's a possibility. I do think that uh, the Smiler will still have the inversion record for quite a long time to come. Um, so I think if they're going to do anything from Gerslauer in this particular reconfiguration of the land, I would like to see again the, the Infinity style coaster, a Hang Time style coaster with a Beyond Vertical Drop, focus on the sereneness and the landscaping of the area and how it would um, collage together with the landscaping and the design of the area. Um, rather than the coaster layout being too extreme. So I think that a Hang Time style coaster again would work very, very well. But another piece of um, coaster development that could happen here is the possibility of the introduction of the T-Rex or the largest kind of raptor. Now, the largest kind of raptor is a fallback option in case the T-Rexes aren't ready for release of development just yet. Now, the lot, now the lot, obviously we don't know exactly the largest the raptors can go. However, there's no limits to where the raptors could go. So I would like to see something like a Jersey Devil style um, train capacity but a longer layout so it would be the world's tongest, tallest longest fastest single rail coaster um, it wouldn't reach the same heights the T-Rex would, uh, would, would reach but I think it would come close now obviously that is the option if the T-Rex aren't ready for development but if the T-Rex is ready for development by the time this thing opens it'd be interesting to see if they go with that now the final option could be the Axis coaster a new piece of machinery overlooking the boardwalk. Now the Axis coaster should be ready for development hopefully in the next few years, in the next couple of years, which is around the time where I think this will open, which is around 2023 or 2024. Now obviously it's going to be very interesting to see uh, if the Axis coaster and how the Axis coaster layout would work in the boardwalk area, uh, but I think it should be a very interesting discussion if an Axis was to be where Wicked Twister is located. So that's three different refigurations of the point of land, and now let's just summarise this particular video. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is a bit of discussion on the future of the site of Wicked Twister. But of course, there's one thing we've got to sort of brace ourselves for before we talk about discussions on potential replacements in the next couple of years for 2022 or 2023. My best guess, 2023. And that is, of course, September 6th, 2021, the last launch, the final day of Wicked Twister at Cedar Point. Now, one last thing I need to discuss before we end this video and wrap it up is where I think Wicked Twister is going. Now, obviously, if you've been on the Coaster Force forum, you'll have seen uh, this, this forum post about this rumor that Worlds of Fun's getting a new coaster for its 50th anniversary 2023, as told by park employees. I don't believe that for a second, but we'll see what happens. But he did say that the park employees did say to him specifically, whoever posted the rumor in the first place on the forum, uh, that Wicked Twister was rumored to be coming to Worlds of Fun. Now, with the closure of Wicked Twister at Cedar Point, it sort of starts making you think, is there a little bit of truth in that? So, we'll see what happens with all that. But, I, I mean, Worlds of Fun would be a great location for this coaster. Um, would, I think, would I think it'd be enough for an anniversary edition? Probably not, in my opinion. I think Worlds of Fun could do with something a bit, a bit larger. Um... Like, I always thought like a Raptor or a Gerstler or Infinity, like the style of Hangtime, would be both great for that park uh, for an anniversary season, for the 50th anniversary of the park. So um, I think if they just got some celebrations and a relocated Wicked Twister, that wouldn't be enough for an anniversary for me. I think it'd be slightly underwhelming. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I think Worlds of Fun could get it. A few enthusiasts said Michigan's Adventure could get it. Should be interesting on that department. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I think the main thing we need to look forward to now is the last rides on September 6th, uh, 2021. And that is, of course, the last rides of Wicked Twister. So 
Rest in peace, Ricky Twister at Cedar Point, 2002 to 2021. You will be missed at the Ohio theme park. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's a long one. Make sure you uh, stay tuned to all the videos by clicking the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast of Life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day. RIP Wicked Twister. Thank <laughs> you.